Now, it is a massive leap for India's growing defense ambitions. India is all set to have its own eye in the sky, just like the Predator. Well, the country has conducted the first successful test flight of a fully indigenous high-performance surveillance drone called the Rustam-1. Headlines today now gets you a first look at our very own drone. An ambitious dream finally takes off. The Rustam-1, a fully Indian unmanned drone, had its first successful test flight near Bangalore on Saturday. Strong crosswinds threatened snags, but the pilotless aircraft logged a satisfactory launch and landing. Beautiful, beautiful, very good, very good. Oy. See, this uh, flight test was very critical for us because it's a foreigner for unmanned combat aircraft and also in the next generation unmanned high altitude long endurance navy. When operational two years from now, the Rustam could be one of India's principal snooping machines, built for long endurance airborne intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance. The Rustam 1 that flew on Saturday is in reality being used to prove certain key technologies for what will ultimately be a much larger and much more capable drone called the Rustam H. The Rustam will be a big beast of a drone. It will weigh nearly 2 tons and sport a wingspan of 20 meters. Crucially, the Rustam will be able to remain in the air and conduct surveillance for upwards of 30 hours. The Rustam will snoop using high-performance cameras, electro-optical sensors and a synthetic aperture radar. If all goes well, the Rustam may even be weaponized in the future to become a hunter-killer drone very much like the American Predator. The Rustam program is a deeply ambitious one. It hopes to build a machine that can match the capabilities of the legendary American MQ-1 Predator surveillance drone. Saturday's flight was only the start. The real work lies ahead. A fearsome reputation. A machine that has become legendary for making seek and destroy an art form. That's the American Predator, the drone that unleashes hell almost every day on the Afghan border. Can India even hope to have such a bird of prey? The good news is that the answer is a solid yes. The aircraft you see is only a technology demonstrator. But when the real Indian Rustam drone flies in a few years, it hopes to be everything that the Predator currently is. In the two-seater man, we have put the control system, navigation system and also a lot of intelligence. So it can fly automatically when you with a, with a pilot on the ground. The Indian military currently operates the Israeli Heron surveillance drone, a highly capable machine, but let's face it, it isn't ours. And as anyone in the military will tell you, when it comes to sensitive intelligence gathering equipment, there's nothing like developing, building and operating your own machine. The Rustam will primarily be a surveillance drone, but plans are already afoot to sling missiles on its wings and turn it into a hunter-killer like the Predator. The Rustam will use its high-performance sensors to conduct long-endurance surveillance in border areas over the sea and in Naxal-affected areas as well. In a future avatar, it will be capable of firing strike weapons at targets as well. A first flight is an auspicious occasion in the timeline of an aircraft. In its maiden outing last November, the Rustam had crashed. But there are several challenges ahead. For starters, if India cannot get the heart of the drone, its sensors, right? The Rustam will be useless and will be nothing like the Predator. But that's not the plan, is it?